Hi folks, got something real interesting for you today. The IT clamp, next on TACMED TV. Hi and welcome to TACMED TV. My name is Steve and today I'm bringing you a product called the IT clamp. Uh, we're gonna stay in the vein of bleeding control talking about this today. This is made by a company called Innovative Trauma Care. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go to their website and actually look at the case studies and some of the science behind uh, how the clamp actually works. Uh, but for us today, we're gonna to talk about how to use it. This is the training product. Open it up and you pull it out and you've got this little clamp, okay? Now you notice this little clamp here has two rows of needles on it, okay? Now, when you have a laceration that needs some bleeding control, and maybe it's somewhere where you can't get a good pressure dressing or you can't get a tourniquet, this is something to kind of fill that gap, okay? How it works is you've got your laceration, I've got my fake skin here, you see the laceration there. What you do is you take your clamp, take the needles, put it on the edge, of the laceration, okay, you line it up, okay, then you've got it over the laceration, okay. Now, from that point, once you've got it lined up, you just squeeze them together, okay, just like that, and that closes up the laceration. Now, according to the, uh, the uh, trainers that trained me on this piece of equipment before we started using it at my service, uh, what happens after that is a clot starts to form underneath the laceration and that clot in turn will start to put pressure on the bleeding vessels. Okay, that's how this works and that's how it, it works to, to stop the bleeding because that's the goal, right? We want to stop the bleeding. Now, the times that I have used this in the field, uh, head lacerations, okay, any scalp lacerations, somewhere where I can't get um, an effective pressure dressing. It's very difficult to try to get a, a good pressure dressing on somebody's scalp. So this fills that gap. It's, it's the, to me, it's the stop gap. This is what I look for when I've got a scalp laceration that I need to control that bleeding. This is it. Now, it works very well the times that I've used it. Uh, it, it works as advertised, okay? The, uh, you would think there would be some pain associated with this. I've asked the patients when I've used it, uh, when, I, when I place the clamp, they don't really complain about the needles. It's, it's like they're, they're, not even, they're not even feeling that over what they're, the, the pain they're already feeling. But when you close it and you get that pinch on the skin, they do say that that hurts, okay? Um, so there's, there's probably not really any getting around that at this point for us in the field. So anyway, once this patient is taken to definitive care, you might need to stick around for a little while. Uh, it's been my experience that the physicians and the nurses in the emergency department aren't as um, up on trends and up on equipment uh, that's used in EMS, that's used in, in field care where, where I live. Um, so you might wanna stick around for a little while because you'll probably need to take this soft form uh, so the physician can evaluate and make a determination of what direction they're going to go. Is it something that, you know, they need to go in, they need to do surgery on? Does it need internal stitches? Or can they just stay, uh, uh, staple it or, or stitch it up as it is? So anyway, to take this off, it's very simple. You grab the clamp to stabilize it, make sure it doesn't slip and go anywhere. Give a little bit of pressure, and you've got the two ends here. Squeeze those two ends together and then the clamp comes right open, okay? All right, now once this is, is opened, uh, this is a one-time use product. It is a sharp, there are needles here. People can get stuck with this. Make sure it's disposed of properly, okay? Don't just leave this laying around, all right? So anyway, that's the IT clamp. Like I said, it's a good piece of kit. It's something that, uh, that I use and have had great success with in the past. And we still stock these on our, uh, on our, our trucks to, to this day. Um, we still have them in the supply room, but there's a new generation. They look a little bit differently than this. Uh, couldn't get my hands on one of those. 
so this is the one I ended up using, but there is a new generation. When you go to their website, you'll see it uh, give you an idea what it what the new look is. Okay. So anyway, let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Let me know if it was helpful, if it wasn't helpful. Um, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, let me know. You know, give me a comment in the comment section below. If you do like what we're doing and you like what you're seeing so far um, from TACMED TV, think about hitting the subscribe button. Right next to it's a little bell. Click on that and you'll get notifications when the new videos are out. Okay. Also, if you like what you saw in this particular video, hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And as always, any other comments, any other pieces of gear, any other pieces of equipment that you would like to see uh, a video uh, done, leave it in the comment section below and I will get to it. I will respond to you and I will do my best to get you a video made of that piece of equipment or that piece of gear. So thank you so much for your time today. This is Steve from TechMed TV saying stay safe.